Hello everyone. Today we are going to study the criterion to prove that two triangles are congruent. So let's start. The four major criterion of congruence are SSS, SAS, ASA and RHS. So let's study them one by one. The first criterion which we are going to study is the SSS criterion. This criterion states that if three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So, as we can see in the figure, that all the three sides are equal to the three sides of the other triangle. That means we can see that AC is equal to PR. BC is equal to QR and AB is equal to PQ which is evident in the figure also. Hence we can see that the two triangles are congruent. Now let's move on to the second criterion that is the SAS criterion which states that two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the sides and included angle of the other triangle. This means that if we are taking two adjacent sides which are equal to the two adjacent sides of the other triangle, then the included angle, if it is written that the included angle is also equal, then the two triangles are congruent. As we can see in the figure that AC is equal to PR, angle C is equal to angle R and BC is equal to QR. Hence, the two triangles are congruent. But if in the figure it would be mentioned that AC is equal to PR, BC is equal to QR and angle A is equal to angle P, then we cannot say that the two triangles are congruent. Because angle A and angle P are not the included angles between the sides AC and PR, BC and QR. Hence, it should be important that the included angle must also be equal. Now, let's see the fourth, third criterion that is the ASA criterion. Which states that, that two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to the angles and included side of the other triangle. So let's see that in the figure. We can see that angle A is equal to angle P, angle C is equal to angle R and AC is equal to PR. So here also it is important to check whether the included side is equal or not. If we would say that angle A is equal to angle P, angle C is equal to angle R and BC is equal to QR, then the statement would be wrong or we can't say that the two triangles are congruent as BC and QR are not the included sides between angle P and angle A and angle C and angle R. Hence, it should be important that the included side must be mentioned as equal. Let's move on to the last but not the least criterion that is the RHS criterion which states that if in two right angles the hypotenuse and one side of one triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one side of the other triangle then the two triangles are congruent. Now as we can see in triangle ABC and triangle PQR that the hypotenuse that is AC and PR are equal. The base BC and QR are also equal. Hence the two triangles are congruent. But if we would say that AB is equal to PQ then also we can say that the two triangles are congruent because either of the sides must be equal either the height or the base in with the hypotenuse must be equal so i hope you understood the today's topic thank you for watching